हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ बी एस सी एन एच स्कॉस जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन फॉर फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन सो टूडे वी हैव थर्टी डेज ओल्ड काफ एंड दिस काफ हैज इंजुरी इन द डिजिटल मेटा कार पर एंड दिस इंजुरी हैपेंड एस्टरडे वेन अदर एनिमल स्टेप्ड फुट over this metacarpal area so after a physical examination when we took the radiograph so we found that uh, so there is a fracture in the distal metacarpal bone so if you see externally so there is a no uh, wound over the skin and even the swelling is also not up to the mark so based on the physical examination and the radiography it is a distal one third short oblique fracture of the left metacarpal bone so the management of the fracture is depending on the type of the fracture which limb is involved which bone is involved so this is the 30 days old this is the young animal so here and since the there is no wound means fracture is very simple close fracture so we go for the external cooperation so for external cooperation there are different approaches one approach is we go for the simple splint and bandaging then we go for the simple splint bandage and followed by the application of the plaster of paris bandage and third one is the we go for the fiberglass or synthetic cast so for this animal since the fracture is closed one weight of the animal is very less so we go for the plaster of paris cast so here we incorporate the splint also because the plaster of paris cast is not enough to sustain the weight of the this animal or is not able to immobilize the this fracture appropriately because uh, the drying period of the pop cast is too much so that is why we always incorporate the splint then we apply the plaster of paris bandage so for the external cooperation or for the plaster of paris bandage or the synthetic cast the principle is that we should immobilize the one distal joint and the one upper joint in case of the fracture management by the external cooperation it means whatever the we apply the splint we incorporate from the here to here then only we can immobilize the this carpal joint as well as the this fetlock joint so this is the principle sometimes some doctors they apply only the splint up to this level so that is not right because in that case there is no immobilization of the this joint and this joint so whenever you go for the plaster of paris cast ya bandage or synthetic cast always include the one joint above and one joint below to the fracture site so fracture is here if you, if you could see here so this is a clear cut in same movement so here there is no joint joint is here and here so it means this is the also one of the way to identify the fracture so the next step we go for plaster of paris cast so we have applied one bandage here from the axilla region and these bandage will act for the traction and counter traction so it, so how you bandage this lower one this is like this one just like a slip knot and we put the this like this and then we keep like this after completion of the procedure then we remove from here so it will come outside the knot knot so this is how we keep like this so only we have to apply the distraction and counter traction we make the this fracture fragment in reduced stage then the other joints are in the normal anatomical position always we start the bandaging from the distal end so we should include the this hoof also and since we have applied this knot with the slip knots it will come outside after the completion of the procedure or once the plaster of paris get dry book recommend that we go for the stockinet we don't have the stockinet so this bandage will act as a stockinet next we go for the application of the so whenever we apply the bandage or cotton roll we follow the rule of the 50 rule of 50 means the every you can say next layer you can say cover the preceding one so 
in this way we have applied this cotton now from here onward doctors they do they go for the application of the splint they tie it and they apply the then plaster of paris bandage but here i don't prefer this one i go with the plaster of paris bandage and then i fix the i apply the both splint in between the layer of the plaster of paris so this is the plaster of paris bandage this is the rapidor bandage so we open this one and then we dip here this is also very important step now once the bubble is stops then we take outside and simply squeeze and then we start from the again from the distal extremity so again you could see here so i am covering the 50% of the preceding layer so this is the splint so normally splint is applied at the right angle but here i am applying on the otherwise i have to apply the three splint one at the anterior surface another one is the portal surface or posterior and then the medial but since the animal is light in weight it is only hardly 25 or 30 kg so like this and then this hold like this so advantage of incorporating the splint in between the layer of the plaster of paris cast is that it won't cause any injury to the skin so here again i will start from the distal side from the distal extremity so this is how we can apply the we can make the this surface is smoother so that there will be no crack formation the only problem is that this is the drying period of the pop bandage is high but here we will try to keep at least for the 30 minute in this position the only advantage with this animal that the weight of the animal is light so once it dry then i will cut from here so i told you in the beginning that i anchor this bandage at this label in the slip knot so this one is the longer this one is so here if i pull like this so it will release here and now you could see how easily it come out this is how uh, we have applied the, this plaster of paris uh, bandage along with the spin so we applied one spin anterior 
and one at the posterior space. Now I have cut it here. Now you could see here. Initially it was like this. So here this is the elbow joint. This one elbow joint. So this is below the elbow joint. This and the carpal joint. And this is the fetlock joint. So by this we have immobilized the both fetlock joint and below this the carpal joint. So only the difference that you may keep up to this level, up to this level. So ideally we can keep as much as higher. So the weight of this plaster repair is cut. So right now it appears a bit heavier because of the this is the weight. It is not completely dry, but once it dries, so definitely it becomes lighter in weight. The post operative management is equally important in this case. We advise to the owner that he should avoid to you can say wetting the, this uh, cotton with the water or <coughs> even the urine. And we are also advised to bring this animal after 15 days or 21 days for the next follow-up examination.